I'm from the Welcome to Switch and Swatch Your TV. First question, what's your name? My name is Cece. Cece? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 55. And where are you from? I'm um, originally from Alabama. Alabama. Yep. Shout out to Alabama. Dude, dairy farm. Country girl. Country, country girl. Country. So how country would you say you are? I'm a country girl. Country like mud, dirt road country? Yeah, oh yeah. Slinging dirt. All right. So how did you end up here in Mississippi? Um, Well, my mother's from Tupelo, but I ended up in Jackson homeless. I didn't it, have nobody, so I come to Jackson. Do you have any kids? I have two sons. Uh, Alex King, which sings, and Tyler. Tyler's the oldest, and uh, they're 31 and 25. Shout out to them. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Hey, so, uh, Eric, I love you. <laughs> but, how do you like it here in Jackson, Mississippi? I like it. I mean, it's, it has its ups and downs. It's kind of good stuff out here. Are you a trucker girl? Uh, my mom was a trucker. What'd you say? I, uh, my mom was a trucker. I work on CBs. You work on CBs? My son, uh, Shaggy Dog, was my son Logan's, uh, Alex's daddy. Yeah. Yep, my mom drove. So that's cool, that's yep. cool. Are you homeless? I am, but I'm not hopeless. You're not hopeless, wow, what great deal. So uh, how did you end up in your situation? Life. Life? Yeah. Any stories? Just, I didn't have nobody and I came to Jackson because there was opportunities here. That's, here where, that's where my spirit led me. I'm putting, the man above done it, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to get yourself out of your situation? Well, we have a homeless coordinator here and he's trying to help us get out. But every time and my husband get everything together, we get robbed basically by another homeless person. Oh man. It's tough. Do you have a cash out? No, I don't. Not now, but I will. If you get your cash out, next time I can put it up here. Uh -huh. But what I will do, I will put my cash out up here. And if anyone send, say for CC and I will make S -I, sure. S -S -I. <laughs> I will make sure I get it to CC next time I see her at the truck stop. I will get her my phone number so she can keep in contact with me so she can know when the next time I'm going to be here. I will also show her the cash out that whatever came for CC, I'm going to make sure that she gets it until she get her own cash out. Because we're going to be hearing a lot more from you, right, CC? Oh, yeah. So, CC. Yeah. What, what are you doing here at this truck stop? Well, I just come up here to get just for peace, really. Just get away from the buckery. Yeah. <laughs> come get some peace and come yeah. around the truck. Yeah, and, uh, I just I just chill, Mr. Joe. I sit up here with you. Yeah. Just bad those kids. Yeah. How long have you been here in Jackson? Well, going on five years. On five years. Are you on any drugs? No. Nicotine. I'm a cigarette. I love my cigarettes. Uh, do you drink? No. Uh, so what type of work do you do? I was a fiber optic since my last job. Yeah. yeah. And you said you work on CBs. Yep. So you truckers, <laughs> she says you work on CBs. Yeah. If y'all are around and you want to get it tweaked. the dog bag. Yeah. I like your little style yeah. you got going on there with your <laughs> with your your hat and your chain. Yeah. Got a nice little cool little style <laughs> right with you. So CC. Mm -hmm. It was nice chatting with you. I will give you the information and I will give you my number. And you know, all homeless people are not the same. I mean, yeah. you got people out here doing some crazy stuff, but you got people out here that's, it's really, we, we don't do the bad stuff, but we get blamed. Yeah. I mean, I've been through a lot here in Jackson, but I, I'm not going to give up. I'm, yeah. I'm like I said, I'm homeless, not hopeless. Yeah. And be kind, say your prayers, and you can't say nothing else, I'll open your mouth. Yeah. You just hit it on the head, all homeless people. People not the same. People who be breaking them vehicles around here because it be some break-ins around here. Well, so. I don't put up with lies or stealing. And I, if I can help somebody come recover something, I'm gonna help them. Yeah. Because it's not right that you know. If it's not yours, don't touch your hand. A wise man told me, and this has nothing to do with washing. Keep your hands clean. You need the king. All right, man. I hope life turns around for you and you get that place and be able to move into somewhere and get off the streets and hopefully you have some supporters you got a nice attitude and you got a nice little style <laughs> on you hopefully you get some fans and all right y'all hey, maybe you'll be able to start your own youtube channel right. or something until, you put your happy socks on <laughs> yeah put your happy socks on and i appreciate this interview and you talking with me a little while i'm out here just interviewing people who i see at the truck stop 
walking around. A lot of people usually here, I used to see a lot of people here all the time yeah. coming and asking me for stuff. So I was giving them, I found a way that I can't give back. Just do a little interview. If they don't want to do it, then they don't have to do it. Right. But it's just something they could give back and, and hopefully even get some each, either uh, further help if they can get right. it. Okay. But uh, I like your I'm attitude. I'm grateful for, you know, in the smallest of things. And I'm very sentimental. I mean, it really touches me deep. Yeah. And I'm very grateful to meet y'all. All right, CC, until next time. Keep it, keep it safe and keep it between the lines and don't take no wooden niggas. Don't take no wooden niggas. Switch and live your dreams. Live your dreams. Yeah. All right, thanks, CC. You're welcome. <laughs>